Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist. In this video, I will show you how to use the keyboard in Smart Notebook 10.0. To access the keyboard, there's a wide variety of places you can get it. One place you can access the keyboard is right on the front of your Smart Board. There's a little button in the front, you click it, and the keyboard will show up. There's also, you can access the keyboard from the Welcome Center if you click on the Tools tab and Keyboard, and you can also access it from the System Tray as well. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what this does. First of all, I'm going to click in, in on my notebook page just to let it know it's ready to use the keyboard. And you can simply just start typing. If you hear a little beep, that means you need to click out on your notebook page and then back onto your keyboard. See how easy that is? Automatically created a text box for me. Simple as can be. There's a space key here. If you want to do a capital, this is kind of like a shift key right here. And it makes the next thing a capital. If I accidentally make a mistake, whoops, didn't mean to do that. This, I can hit delete. And I can do that. Um, so there's a wide variety of different things you can get, do with this keyboard. Let me show you a couple other things that you can do. See this little button over here on the right? that looks like a chevron pointed down. Let me click on it. And now when I try to type, the words actually, or the letters, actually type right in this little box here. And when I'm ready, I just hit send, and it will create a text box over here like that. So that's kind of a nice option for some people. But there's some other really cool things you can do with the keyboard. A lot of people don't ever realize, you know, say you're using this with a math website and you need to input some numbers. Pull out the number pad. And again, I can use either the chevron or not, either way. And I can simply type some numbers and a, again, a text box will be created. Pretty neat, huh? You can do times 56 equals okay everybody figure that one out really quick um if i need to hit the return key i can do that and again i can go back and delete if i need to and change things so that's the number pad now i'm going to go ahead and go to another slide so we don't get all messy here Alrighty, this one is pretty slick this is the writing function and what you can do is you can take a pen and then you can come up here and you can write all right let's try i'm not very good at this on my computer hi and voila it recognizes it hopefully if you have good handwriting and it plops it right up there again if i want to you know when i'm done with a pen i need to move off of that i can move that around um, you have a couple choices. It can recognize its capitals, numbers, or no preference. So that one is awful fun. Now, we have a simple keyboard. This is really good for young kids who haven't learned where the keyboard is yet or all, where all the keys are. It's basically just in alphabetical order. And we have simple caps. But there's still some other things that you can do with the keyboard. I'm going to go into settings, and this is one of my favorite I really like, is I'd like to turn the speech on. That is pretty neat. So I'm going to click on that, and now listen when I type something. Pretty neat, huh? Um, so you can have kids practice, you know, young kids, you can have them practice writing their names or, um, you know, coming up and pressing certain letters. You can also make the keyboard kind of semi-transparent. So if you want to, you can kind of see through it a little bit and it can kind of float around over on top of things. So those are just a few of the things that you can do with the keyboard and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have some time and explore some of the neat features of the keyboard. Thanks and have a good day.